Okay, so let's learn how to put video inside type for this really cool sort of cinematic effect. So we start here. This is our title slide, for example. We could give it a live presentation or export it out as a video. And then we go this way using a magic move to the next slide. So this is the first legitimate slide in our presentation after the title slide. So you could do something like that. Or using it the same way, so the video plays over two slides. We use a magic move, but a little bit different effect this time. We could do it this way, and then our second slide just appears like this. And the video just played all the way through it. Or a third way. Again, we start here with our title slide, introducing the idea, and then go to our first slide this way. All right, so let's learn how to do that really quickly. And it's actually dead simple. The first thing you want to do is you need a black background. So just make sure you get a new slide, black background, and whatever your title wants to be. In my case, I'm just going to call it Oregon Coast. Make it as big as you can. Choose a really fat font. Now, there are fatter ones in this one. This is just Helvetica Bold. But the type choice is very important, but just make sure it's big because this white part is actually going to be transparent, and that's where we're going to see the video behind it. Okay, so I have it all set. This is the way I want it. Then just go to File and export and we're going to save it as an image and a jpeg image is okay and then just it's just over one slide so in this case my slide is eight slide eight the slide eight and then export it out as an image so this is the video that i want to show through the type so i take that image that we just made put that over of course we can't see through it so what are we going to do so what we do we have the image selected we go to under format, go to image, and then choose remove background. And since it's very high contrast, it's just white and black, we can just click on it. But actually, I don't recommend that you do it just that way because sometimes there'll still be a little bit of white on the edges. So go ahead and hold it down, get it to around 30 to 50%, and you'll notice that it's quite clean. Of course, in Photoshop, we could do a much better job, but actually this is... Um, Good enough. I'm not sure we could actually even do better in Photoshop just because it's such a big difference. White and black can't get more contrast than that. So it's quite smooth. And even though we're just using a JPEG, you know, it's not an Illustrator file or inline file. It's not a vector graphic. And we're going to make this image of the Oregon coast large, but uh, it'll look good. Okay, so there we have it. And if we play it, you can see that through the, the waves underneath it, so we see our video in the background. But that's just the first slide. So we take this slide, and then we just duplicate it, right? So this one here is, um, that's just our text, right? So I'll get out of the way so it's not confusing. Don't worry about that one. So this is the one we're concerned with now. This was a JPEG that we brought in, and then we removed the background inside Keynote, all right? And we duplicated that. And now we're going to go from here to here. So we want this to be much bigger. So let's shrink it down to 25%. In terms of size, you can go to Arrange. Uh, I'm not sure actually the size, but let's say 15,000 to begin. And as long as you hold your mouse down over the black parts, not the transparent parts where the letters were, because nothing's going to happen. So make sure your mouse is, uh, your cursor is over the black parts. I'm going to choose the top of the C. Here's the top of the C. It's almost big enough, but let's make it a little bit bigger. Maybe 17,000. Is it big enough? Yeah, right about there. So we're covering up 100% of that slide with the transparent part. In fact, you can see right here. Okay, so then we go here to animate. Choose magic move. Yeah, around five seconds or so. We'll make it slow. You can preview it here to see what it's going to look like. Yeah, you get the idea. So let's go through and play it. Okay, so this is the slide that we made. You can see the ocean moving behind. I'm going to introduce the Oregon coast, talking about solitude. The video also had a little bit of animation on it, so it's kind of like this parallax effect. And there we are. This is Cannon Beach. This is where part of Goonies was filmed, if you remember that movie. And then I actually want this to become a, um, an image. So it just dissolve into the image. And then I bring down the keyword for this part, which is talking about uh, solitude, time alone, and creativity, and, and all that. All right, so you see how we did that? Okay, so let's look at some more examples. All right, so let's say we're giving a presentation talking about the uh, International Space Station, one of the expeditions, Expedition 42, and then we go to the first slide. So the video just 
continued on. And our first point here is talking about when this expedition occurred. All right. So here's another one. So again, this is just the overlay. We're going through the solar system. There goes Jupiter. We come out here. There's the asteroid belt. There goes Mars, Earth, and the moon, and Venus and Mercury. And finally, we arrive here at our star. And let's say we go to the first slide, which is talking about how massive the sun is and some other facts about it. All right, so here's a different kind of example. So you'll notice the, it, I'll kind of show you how you do this. So in this case, I used a border. So you don't need a border in every case. Some cases it, it looks better and you can use different color. You can use shadow. You can just experiment with it. But in this case, I thought it popped a little bit more this way. All right, so we go from this, this video is playing. And we, it just continues to play. And there's our first point, introducing the idea of a sakura, cherry blossoms. Okay, and then in this one, we go kind of inside the J as a way to focus on these two women walking down the stairs. And then we could pull out all together to reveal the whole thing. Okay, so in this case, what I did, remember, this is just that image. It was a JPEG, and then we used the background remover to, just to kind of remove the background color, in this case, white. And then I just cut that in half so that it goes like this, using the magic move. 